here's what's happening. I clearly need more power. I'm gonna start this experiment process by measuring the 15 pound fire extinguisher using my pressure swingometer. And I'm gonna be comparing that against all my subsequent measurements from all the modifications that I'm gonna make. It might seem that what's happening here is a meeting of opposites. The fire and the thing that puts out the fire. But in fact, it's actually just about force. The fire is pushing forward with a force and I need to meet that with an equal and opposite force. I don't need a white billowy cloud going to 25 feet. I need to push the fire back from 25 feet. So I'm gonna start by increasing the size of my extinguisher. I'm gonna go from 15 pounds to 50 pounds. Then with a few modifications, we'll see if I can get that pressure wave extending out almost 25 feet. Go. While Adam looks to beef up his blast, go. Jamie invites his inner pyromaniac to the party by making a military-grade flamethrower. My task now is to make an honest-goodness flamethrower. That's going to be the manifold. And given that we're using high pressures, flammable fluids, and they're lit, I need to make sure that whatever I'm using is really sturdy. With that in mind, I'm gonna use these air tanks. They're made for thousands of PSI, so given that we're only gonna be putting hundreds of PSI in them, I figure they'll be plenty safe for us to use. 